Hello and welcome to my Joker makeup tutorial using regular cosmetics. I put this little video together to show everyone how easy it can be to replicate Heath Ledger's Joker makeup in the dark night just by using regular cosmetics you can find at home or buy at a store for next to nothing. For this tutorial I use the following products. White cream face makeup, which was left over from Halloween last year, a dark and a light shade of red lipstick, black and brown eyeshadow, a black eyeliner pencil, a small paintbrush, a makeup brush, a paper plate, and q-tips. You'll also want to grab a small cup of water and a washcloth for touch-ups. Here's a photo of everything I gathered together and used for this tutorial. Next you'll want to find some good reference photos of the Joker. The main photo I used was this one here. I opened it up in Photoshop and bumped up the contrast and the color a bit to help bring out all the fine details. I also flipped the image so that when I'm looking at it, it's reflected back to me how the makeup should appear on my face when I'm painting it on while looking in a mirror. I also found this photo of Heath Ledger wearing his scar prosthetics without his white face paint on. I adjusted the image a bit in Photoshop to make the scar show up a bit better. When using this image as a reference, just remember that the smaller scar goes on the left side of your face and that the longer scar goes on the right. Now that you have all the proper materials, it's time to start applying the makeup. And here we go starting to apply the makeup. The first thing you want to do is just go on ahead and tap on the white face paint. I found that using my fingertips works a little better than a makeup sponge. When I was using a makeup sponge I tended to blend the makeup in a little too much and then I had to reapply more coats so this saves a few steps. When putting the makeup on you just want to make sure you keep it thick and just slap it on really sloppy. You don't want to make it look too neat. I noticed a few areas that look a little bit lighter so I'm just going to go on ahead and go over those with some more makeup to make the face paint look a little more even. And there you have the white face paint. And next I'm going to start by adding some dark circles around my eyes with the black eyeshadow. Now this is being added more as a base coat. I'll be applying a bit of mascara here in a bit and this just helps make the mascara come off your face at the end of the night a little bit better. I'm putting this on you want to make sure you get it up over your eyebrows and be sure to make a full circle around the underside of your eyes. Now here I'm looking at my reference photos to add the lines on my face. Since I really don't have any wrinkles in my forehead, I'm just going to try to match them up the best I can to my reference photos. Best way to do this, just take a Q-tip and dip it in a little bit of water, squeeze the excess away from it, and just run the Q-tip over your forehead and it'll pull up the white face paint, leaving your skin showing out underneath. I'm just going to tap my fingers against it a little bit to pull the makeup away from the lines. 
I'm going back to the reference photo and pulling away more of the white face paint where I see it not showing on the photo of the Joker that I'm using for my reference. Most of the lines usually appear around the lips and the mouth and there's a few along the cheeks that I'll be pulling away where the scars are going to be. And just getting a few minor details in here and there. And there's your lines. Now the next step is going to be the darker shade of black that I'll be putting around my eyes. To do this, I actually broke open the tube of mascara that I had and kind of smeared the mascara out on the paper plate. I ran the paintbrush through some water and then just dipped it into the mascara and pretty much made it a little bit thinner so it was easier to apply. I'm just using a regular paintbrush that you find in most cheap watercolor sets. I'm trying to reference my eyes as close to the photo of the Joker as I can get. So The best way to do this is just kind of tap around the bottom part of your eyes to get in those fine runny lines. And another reason why I decided to use the mascara is when it gets dry, it tends to flake up a bit. And if you miss just a little bit of water over your eyes and then shake your head, it'll make the makeup run just like it looks in the Joker interrogation scene. I want to try to get as close to the underside of your eyes as you can, but just make sure you don't go stabbing yourself in the eye with the paintbrush. And there's your eye makeup. Well that's the end of the first video. The second video is going to go on ahead and show how to finish up the final details which includes the lips and the scarring effect and it'll also show a few still photos of the final result. So if you want go on ahead and check out the second video which will finish up on the Joker makeup tutorial using regular cosmetics.